Hi, this is a quick video to show off how uh, the mesh module interacts with the streams uh, lava wetness and puddles module. Um, there are uh, some minor issues uh, you might run into, but uh, for the most part things work uh, kind of like you'd expect. So I have this uh, model here and uh, what I've done is uh, if I go over to my material, um, it is set up for Microsoft uh, Microsplat mesh painting, and on the actual uh, material, I have enabled uh, stream uh, wetness puddles, streams, and lava, uh, so we can play with them. And then on the uh, painting interface, we now have the wetness puddles, streams, and lava. Uh, that are showing controls. If you don't have those turned on, uh, it will tell you they're not turned on and not show the interface. So, um, these are mostly self-explanatory, uh, but um, if, for instance, I paint some wetness, uh, then I will get wetness on my rock, which looks pretty nice. Um, I can clear uh, the painting here, or I can fill it entirely. Um, you can also use the target value uh, to paint to a specific value. So if you just want a little bit of wetness, you can paint, uh, let me turn it up a little bit more than that. So you can just paint a little bit here instead of painting um, to the full value. Um, and so that can be useful if you know kind of the wetness level you want. So I'm gonna clear that away. Um, puddles basically works the same way. Uh, streams, uh, because we don't have a consistent UV topology, uh, a terrain, for instance, would have very consistent UVs across the entire mesh. Um, but we might have UV seams and things like that here. Uh, so there, you might be a little more, you might need to be a little more careful. Uh, additionally, you have the problem of, uh, you know, where should the water flow, okay? So on a terrain, it's very easy to take the normal of the terrain and just make the, the stuff go downhill. Uh, and you'll get pretty consistent results. And that's basically what I've done here. But it just requires uh, a little bit more work um, to be careful uh, with things. So I'm just gonna go ahead and fill this with water. And you'll see that uh, the water sort of, in this case, is flowing out um, from the center because uh, that's generally where it's flat. And it goes down along the mesh, which is basically what we want. Now you'll notice some issues. Uh, where you have UV seams here, for instance, uh, there's some stretching UVs, and so it sort of moves quickly along those UVs. And then there's a seam here because of the UV seam. It can't know uh, how it should flow to the next area. So that's something you're going to have to paint around or design around with your UV layout, uh, however you want to uh, deal with it. Um, you can just, you know, uh, make sure your stream doesn't go there or lay out your UVs so that um, you don't have these sort of inconsistencies in important areas. Um, and basically the same thing will happen with lava if you paint if you fill that um, oops I don't have it all the way up so if you fill that you're gonna get lava uh, and it's going to uh, show those UV seams uh, in a big way because of the burnout um, but it will flow down the right directions uh, based on the, the object uh, so that's pretty cool um, clear this out and uh, yeah, that's it for streams and lava. Um, that's it. Cool. Thanks.